Hello guys, KP Shameno here with another guide and this time it's the lure guide for the Trophy Muskie. Uh, for, I'm remaking this video for the simple reason that I think that the lure that I'm using is one of the best that you can use for the Trophy Muskie or for the Muskie. That's the medium spoon 42G40. I got so much success with this uh, spoon. It's, uh, it's unbelievable. You can throw really far with this setup. I'm going to show you guys in this video uh, two positions and three positions that I'm standing because you can reach one position on both sides. I will show you guys that. Uh, after this video or at the end of this video you will see three small videos me catching uh, a trophy or a normal muskie on those positions so you guys can check it on the end of the video so let's get started so first of all i'm going to show you guys the first position so you need to go to kings of the green bay and you need to run all the way to the left you guys already know that that's the old position. I'm not sure a lot of people still fish there, but that's still the best position in my opinion, because the concentration of muskie is a lot higher than on the new position that we are using. So what you need to do is you just stand over here. You need to throw over the reeds and with this setup and with a medium spoon for the guys that don't know, a medium spoon throws really far in this game. It's, it's, I think, one of the lures that you can throw the farthest. So you will see with this casting setup, I'm going to make 53 meters. And if I'm lucky, I'm going to get a snag. And that means that I'm hitting here at the back, there are lilies. And that's the heaven for the muskie. So I can throw all the way into the bay as far as possible. So let's do this. So I'm going to throw like this. And here we go. So you will see that I can make a lot of distance. 53 meters. I didn't get the snag. So yeah, I think I'm just uh, near the lily. So what you need to do is you just go with uh, speed 3. You just do a normal stop and go. I'm not going to get a muskie now because for the simple reason I'm not in the time frame. So after this cast and for the next spot I can just forward the speed. So that's what you guys need to do. You can go all the way. I had the muskie on 32 meters. So come all the way from 55 to 30, 25 meters. And that's the position of the muskie. So now I'm almost out of the muskie position. So... Yeah, it's time to reel in. If you come a little bit closer, this lilies here is a really good spot for trophy northern pike too, or normal northern pike. I'm not sure that you can get unique here, but it's a possibility. So that was position number one. Now we are going to position number two. The area is just the same, but you are just throwing on the other side. So instead of go coming from this side in the bay, you come from the other side. And I think it's a little bit better for the simple reason that you are all the time near the lilies. So you are just following the lilies the whole time. And I think that they are sitting under the lilies because they are predators. So let's keep rolling. This is the bay here. You guys can see it. So here you see weeds, you see lilies, and that's where we throw. And now I'm going to throw like, yeah, totally near those lilies the whole time. So what you need to do is you just stand here. So you just stand here and let's forward the speed time first let me check my uh, paper here 7 to 8 pm so let's go to 19 hours that's 7 pm and what you need to do is you just need to throw as far as possible again just the same yeah and now i got snagged so that means that i throw it over the bay to the other side of <laughs> of the shore but that's not a problem that means that I can do the whole bay nicely near uh, the lilies, the weeds, the reeds, everything. So, yeah, let's hope that I can get a muskie in the video. Just to uh, speed three. And the last 10 to 50 meters, you even got a chance to get an order on pike too. With, uh, with this setup. But I don't think that in this video I'm going to have RNG look. It's 7 p.m., right? Yeah, 7 to 8 p.m. I'm at a, at a good time zone, so. No, I don't think it's going to happen. 
yeah, you always need a little bit of luck in catching those uh, those fish. Nope, it's not going to happen because now I'm in pike territory. So, uh, yeah, it's a little bit strange that you need to throw through reeds, but yeah, that's fishing, you know. You need to adapt a little bit on the position and sometimes most of the good fish spots are not easy to reach. That's the same in uh, real life. Sometimes you need to do strange stuff to reach them. Now we are going to the left and that's, I think, the position that most of you guys fish those days. So this is the position. What you need to do is here are the muskies sitting in this weed bed. So you don't need to throw further than 20 meters, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, they are not sitting here. They are sitting here. So just throw in just the same. Just throw near the weeds and then you just do a speed tree, 22 meters is almost perfect. You can do a little bit slower on the stop and go for the simple reason. This area is not as big as the other uh, two areas, in my opinion. But uh, I think, oh, that was a small bite. He was just, just sniffling on my lure, but he's not biting. So we just took it for a brief moment. Yeah, let's see. you can come all the way to the shore because a muskie is a very aggressive fish. Sometimes they even follow you because you can see it uh, in front of your feet. But I don't think I'm going to have luck. So after this video, three times a muskie on all those positions. So you got three very good positions. Most of the time what I do is I fish in the bay for the simple reason the activity is a lot higher. You got more area that you can uh, go over. Okay, you need to make the distance, but with this setup you can make the distance. Okay, for the time frames, sunny, 6 to 7 a.m., 7 to 8 p.m., partly cloudy, 10 to 1 p.m., cloudy, 8 to 9 a.m., and 5 to 6 p.m. That are the time frames. So... Yeah, in partly cloudy, we got like three hours time frame. So if you got diminishing hotspots, I think it's best that you switch on the positions. Therefore, I'm showing so many positions because sometimes you, you got a trophy and then it's dead for the next two hours in game. Yeah, and that's not really fun. So just go to another position, try over there and take it from me. That's the key to catch a lot of fish. And that's the key most of the time to win competitions too. Alternate hotspots. Okay, let's have a look to my setup. Because my setup is the setup that you can throw really far. Galaxy Cast 260, the Vortex 7000, that's very important. The Vortex allows you to throw very far. And a Breadline 0.28. Bread throws further than Mono on this setup, therefore I'm going with this one. Okay, you can go with the Mono 0.5, but why you want to do it? It's a little bit higher in test, I think 1 kilogram more than the, the Bread 0.28, but you don't need it. I don't have one problem with getting the Muskie in. Uh, then, uh, yeah, there's the Bread, and then of course the Medium Soon 42G40 works really well. Of course, the very big crankbaits work really well too. I even uh, heard from somebody that spinner bait works, but I cannot confirm it because I didn't try it. So, but go with the medium spoon. You guys get nets like this on one hour of fishing. Because now I just started in the video the second hour. I got two trophies and one muskie. So that's how good the medium spoon works. And it gives still a lot of experience. 1309. So these three fish gives me almost two and a half, uh, 2,500 uh, yeah, experience. So that's not bad in 300 currency. So that was it for this video, guys. I hope that you liked the video. Give me a like if you liked the video. Subscribe to my channel if you uh, yeah like my channel. And I see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have fun and see you later.